Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, from unit number 3 in business statistics 2, we will have time series. Ma. In time series, you will have two methods. Means, first one is moving average method. Second one is least square method. Means, eleventh question A will definitely comes from moving averages. Eleventh question B will come for least square method so all option will be there out of these two methods prepare any one method so i will explain moving averages method as well as the least square method but my suggestion to you all is better you go with the moving averages method it's a damn easy in that moving averages method you will able to calculate three years moving averages four years moving averages 5 years moving averages and 7 years moving averages. So, this types you will have in moving averages. Next, you will have least square method or trend line. So, this is basically graph representation you will have. Huh? So, graph representation, how you will need to do everything, we will discuss in the video. Today, now we will discuss the moving averages, 3rd, 4th, 5th and 7th. First, we will go with the 7th means 7 years moving averages. So, here you see the question. This is the question. Calculation of 7 years moving average. They will give years and something number of failures, whatever it may be. They will give like that. So, you need to calculate 7 years moving average. What are the columns you will have? Ma? Same year column, whatever they have given in the question. Number of failures, whatever they have given in the question. 7 years total whatever we need to calculate 7 years total and last column is 7 years moving average. So this 4 we need to calculate it. Got it students? So here from 1987 uh, to till 2002 they have given till 2002 they have given the whole question. So just I am um, zooming out it okay. So here uh, full, full page. Okay, 1987 to 2002 they have given. So, this value also they have given in the question. We need to calculate 7 years total. How we need to calculate 7 years total? You calculate first 7 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Till year 7, 7 years you are having, no? You just add all that. 23 plus 26 plus 28 plus 32 plus 20 plus 12 plus 12 total how much you will get 153 you will get ma e 153 where you need to add it so this is 7 years right so here the middle number is 1 2 3 1 2 3 so 32 will be 1990 will be the middle number no so 1990 will be the middle number here you need to need to write it the 153 whatever is the middle number next you exclude one number and add remaining seven numbers one two three four five six seven if you add this seven means you will get 140 middle number what is the middle number this three this three middle number is this only no so 140 here got it so seven years years no ma so that's why we are adding first seven numbers and we are putting that amount in the middle of the row Seven years add just kuni yete maddala number unto no akadamanam add just kuntu nam. Next, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you add this seven means you will get one twenty three. What is the middle number here? Like that we just kunda one. Next idi. Next you will get one not eight. Next if you add means you will get eighty seven. Next you will add get eighty one. Next you will add eighty one. You will get same amount you will get. Next. 78 here 6 7 so 7 7 numbers you need to add 71 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 numbers only we are having if we add this 7 numbers means we will get 63 63 okay so after this we are having only 6 numbers so here columns are 0 here also columns are 0 hope you got understand so, just 7 years total add just call is 7 years so whatever is the middle number you need to add that into the middle number. Okay. So, last column 7 years moving to over average JL and team 153 divided by 7. 7 years the 153 divided by 7 you need to do. Then you will get 21.8. 
21.8 next 140 divided by 7 20 you will get 123 divided by 7 17 one point sorry 123 divided by 7 if you do means 17.5 108 divided by 7 15.4 12.4 like that you need to do is a level point 5 level point 5 level point 1 10.1 63 divided by 7 is 9 that's it so it is Jason and the Kumiku 12 marks and they will allot so 12 marks they will give for this type of questions only 7 years moving averages 3 years moving averages and 5 years will be the same one and the same only 4 years moving average will get some difficulties okay so here 7 years moving average was over next 5 years moving average same uh, here we will discuss some question 5 years moving average 5 years and 3 years moving average so that you will easily get to understand it okay students so here you see the question got it huh. here calculate 3 years moving average as well as 5 years moving average from the following time series so years they have given we have wrote here production they have given we have wrote here in first column 3 years and 3 years the 5 years that they combinedly done in one problem one box only you need to do that separate your wish or else you can do it one problem only so first you add 3 years means first 3 numbers you need to add it so 500 plus 540 plus 550 means 1590 you need to add it this amount in the middle of the number so this is the middle number no 540 here you are adding 1590 next you skip this you add this 3 you will get 1620 what is the middle number here you need to add it here like that 3 years the average LISM divided by 3 whatever the answer you have got you need to divide by 3 that is 3 years next to 5 years first num 5 numbers you need to add it whatever is the middle number you need to draw uh, amount that you need to keep it in the middle number next to divided by 5 got it so 3 5 7 years moving averages will be 1 and the same got it so if you are lucky batch means you will get 3 years or 5 years or 7 years it will be easy but 4 years you will have some difficulties na? now we will discuss 4 years moving average ok now you practice this 17th question in your uh, homework problem only but practicing is a very much important if you are watching means it will be easy only you will think we will get easily get to understand but if you are doing that calculation means we will do certain mistakes so that's why practicing is very much important in business statistics okay now we will discuss four years moving average ma see here they have given estimate the trend values using the given for four years moving average so four years moving average they are asking so years they have given value they have given so years and value we have written here okay years number of years and values okay so for four years same columns only we will have ma first we need to do the four years total so four years means 12 plus 25 plus 39 plus 54 if you add this four means you will get 130 you need to put it in the middle number but here we are having two up one two out one we are not having any middle number that time here you need to give the space whatever is the middle number here two numbers you are having here two numbers you are having this is the middle part so in middle part you are writing 130 okay same like that only you skip this number and next add this four what is the middle number here this is your middle number and for this this is your middle number for this middle number middle number middle number middle like, like got it like that you need to add that amount in the middle number okay while in examination also you will get single rule books no so out of like this single rule books so here if you are writing 1991 means give one line and here you write 1992 1993 1994 middle number will be like this here 
so it will be easy to understand in the final examination also here, here you need to write it the middle number next you need to do divided by 4 okay 4 years moving averages no 130 divided by 4 is 32.5 same line only you need in middle line only you need to write it you should not change it okay 130 divided by 4 32.5 118 divided by 4 47 250 divided by 4 62.5 316 divided by 4 79 like that you need to divide it by 4 same like 3 years 4 5 years 7 years like that only you will have and additional 2 columns you will have ma that is 2 years moving total you need to write so whatever the amount we are getting this amount and this amount you need to add it okay so if you add 32.5 and 47 means you will get 79.5 that you need to write it in the middle number of this middle number is nothing but here you will get in the original line okay and 47 and 62.5 next 62.5 and 79 79 and 90.5 like that you need to add that columns every time and you need to write that amount in the middle of that columns like that you need to do and the last column you need to do whatever the amount you have got here you need to divide it by 2 got it if you have done it divided it by 2 means then it will be over so this is the moving averages method ma so we have discussed 3 years 4 years 5 years and 7 years 3 5 7 years moving averages was easy and same and especially in 4 years it will also be same but especially you will do add 2 numbers and divided by 2 that 2 columns only will get additionally added in this and remaining all things is same only got it students next we will discuss least square method if you are preparing moving averages then skip least square method okay what does it least square method see here here they have used milliest square method years they have given we have mentioned years here you need to totally n means number of observation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 number of observation is 7 profits also they have given we need to write it here x here x column what we need to write it is here in this thing whatever is the middle number we need to keep it zero whatever is the middle number we need to keep it zero and here you will get 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 if you are getting means minus 4 if one column is there so middle number will be zero and upper part of the middle number will always be a negative amounts and lower part of the zero will be a positive numbers like that now you need to do x squared 3 3 is a 9 2 2 is a 4 1 1 is a 1 0 0 is a 0 like that you need to do the square x square actually next you are having xy xy is nothing but x is this y is this so 3 into 75 minus 225 means minus into plus minus only no minus 225 minus 2 into 70 minus 225 minus 1 into 72 minus 72 like that you need to do is xy next here you need to do is yc what is the formula of yc so here you are getting the 61 how we are getting 61 ma e, e, sigma y by n sigma y is nothing but total of years total of profits is 427 427 divided by 7 means you will get 61 and b also x square you need to do for to calculate b sigma xy divided by x square means sigma xy is nothing but 156 x square is nothing but 28 156 divided by 28 means 5.57 minus 5.57 that you need to substitute it this is the formula so 61 minus 5.57 here you are having minus 3 no in bracket minus 3 then substitute jr and here you are having minus 2 here you are having minus 1 0 1 2 3 like that you need to in excess place you need to substitute all the deviations then you will get the answer that's it this is for 12 marks so my suggestion would be better you go for the moving averages you skip this least square method okay so compulsory moving averages method question will so compulsory will come okay so least square method also you just take a look of that if you have understand this formula it will be easy same like regression only you will have
got it students so like that you need to understand it so this is all about the video if you like this video then do like share comment and subscribe to our channel and let me know in the comment section whether you have understood the third chapter or not how is my explanation everything you do we are near to 50k subscribers just finish 50k subscribers by end of your examination if you think this channel is worth it then only do subscribe not at all having any forcefulment and uh, if you like this video then do like share comment and subscribe to our channel all the links were mentioned in the description box all the very best for your examination as well as the preparation ma see you all in next video bye bye students